Good evening, good evening. Hello, Heidi. Hello, good evening. Hi, Eliana, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, good. how are you looking? Good. Good, yeah. Good. good. <laughs> the, the, weather, the weather is okay. Really, here it's nice. Yeah. Really, here in Santa yeah. Tecla, it's, it's pretty, pretty, not, not too cold, but it's pretty cold. Oh, really? Yep. Ooh, that's nice. And wasn't there a blackout in your area? Uh, here in my area, no. But uh, I I have an aunt that she lives in Zaragoza. 
And she wrote me a, a few minutes ago and told me that, that in her house, um, there's no electricity mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I read that some, some, of, some of my classmates, electricity. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's having those problems right now. Yeah, well, actually, my mom told me that she read in Facebook that uh, in a lot of of areas in in the cont in the country. Yeah. Yeah, uh, people doesn't have electricity, so yeah, I think it's a general problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It actually is. We'll see how many people connect to the class because uh, as I told you it's in general I mean many teachers from the company are reporting the same problem that they don't have internet some of them don't, don't have electricity some of them they do have electricity but there's no internet service mm -hmm. uh, but well let's see yeah, we will see, we will see. And how was your day, teacher? My day, I uh, have to go to the doctor for the doctor to tell me that I am too stressed. Oh my God. And I was like, yeah, whatever, I know that. <laughs> tell me something that I don't know, please, doctor. Yeah, yeah, I was like <laughs> that. Tell me something I don't know. Yeah, you know, last night my gastritis was acting up. Uh, really? Yeah, and I mean, when you get that crisis, sometimes the pain can be so strong that some people confuse it with a heart stroke. Well, that happens to me sometimes with uh, my colon. The pain sometimes is it's very strong and it's, and it's uncomfortable uncomfortable very uncomfortable yeah, like around 3 a.m i had a big pain but in my chest in your chest yeah oh yeah but it's the gas Sorry, that. yeah but it was like ah oh, terrible but you and feel okay you feel better yeah yeah besides that the doctor told me you are almost brand new <laughs> it's nice yeah you know i got no blood pressure problems well i they even tested me for uh, diabetes no problem and let's see what else cholesterol i don't know how to say triglycerides and no problem no problem no problem so oh, you're, cool. a, you're a very healthy man yeah, just my stomach, but it's killing me. Yeah, and that and this thing of the stress doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't believe her. So I need a cup of coffee, you know. Your eight cup of coffee. No, actually, you know, I have lowered it down so much that you wouldn't believe it. Like today, I've, I have had just, let's see. Today, I have had just two cups of coffee. Oh, congrats. Yesterday, <laughs> I just had five. That's so few. Yeah. I remember I, that you, you told us that sometimes you drunk just at, in the morning, you drunk five cups of coffee. Yeah, that's a normal day for me. Oh my God. But now That's I'm lowering lot. it down. Uh, terrible. You are more, you are more coffee than blood. Yeah, <laughs> got to be. So what well, about you? How was your day? My day, well, almost the same routine. Just a couple of little things changed today. Um, well, my boss has a. A meeting outside the country next month. So I have to 
to, I don't know how to say it, como gestionar. Sorry? Gestionar. Uh, gestionar. Uh, tramit. Uh, tramit or manage, it's okay. Manage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, that's not the, the, I mean, it could be, but depending on the, on the context. Yes, you can say manage. Manage, well, the, this arrange, thing, the plane ticket or arrange. arrange. Uh, yeah, the plane case, ticket. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's better if you say arrange. Arrange, okay. So I have to arrange um, the plane ticket and the auto reservation. Then I have to request all the 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 authorizations. So in order that everything will be ready in time. So I was uh, requesting some. I don't know how to say, teacher. Cotizaciones. Quotes. Ro could you write for me, please? Role. No quotes. Ah, uh, quotes like like this. Yeah, like quotation. Ah, okay. So yeah, I was requesting some quotes and looking at flight itinerary. Itinerary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was doing kind of that that thing today. So, but besides that, it was a very normal day. Oh, so glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been great. It's been great. The weather, just me. I uh, in the afternoon, I just, uh, I just was sitting in my in my chair and thinking about my bed and uh, and, and my pillow and you know, but I came home to at sorry at. Six ferry, almost. Er, pretty early, and you That's know. early for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me it's early. Sometimes I came home at seven or seven thirty. Ouch! Yeah, mm -hmm. that's late. It depends on the, the activities of the day. You know, sometimes I have to do a, a couple of things um, after office, but always. It's about the office. It's related. To it's related. Thank you. It's related. It's related. So, but that's all, teacher. It's been it's been a great day. Great. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Heidi, hello. Good evening. How are you? What do you need, teacher? What's everything? Um, it's going great. Well. Um, Kind of, <laughs> my 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 pain in my back came back. Oh, that's bad. So sorry to hear it. Yeah. So I I went to the office and came back by noon. Oh really? Yeah, I've been resting the whole afternoon. I feel much better now. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's good that you were able to rest. I mean. It's not the medicine, but it helps. Yeah, no. I don't read it, teacher. That's nice. So you had an interesting day. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's yeah. kind of late, and, and there's only 10 of us, maybe. It seems like because of it's the black to rain, right? Uh-huh. The blackout has affected because Jose Wilfredo report to having problems. Also, Maria Alejandra. La Claudia. Let's see the rest. I haven't totally checked. Anna Claudia. Oh my gosh, that's three people. Mm -hmm. We will see. We will see how many. But I got, well, I got help. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, how are you, teacher? Me? Well, you know, busy day. 
running some errands, uh, doing some stuff. Oh, I forgot my debit card at work. Can you believe oh, it? Oh, really? Yeah, I dropped it. Oh, Actually, that's why I, I, that's why I got two. <laughs> because yeah. it has happened to me. I dropped it. Uh, no, but uh, 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 my coworkers got it. So tomorrow I'm going to get it back. But I wanted to go do some stuff and I couldn't. I needed to go to the supermarket. I'll go tomorrow. Yeah, you know, they say uh, things happen for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. But today I had the time for going to the supermarket. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to be like on a rush. And I went to the doctor, I was telling again, and uh, you know, doctors tell weird stuff. Like, uh, don't get too stressed, try to rest more. They don't know nothing. <laughs> I am sure they tell you the same quite regularly. Yeah, exactly. It's that, you know, it, it must be, uh, how do you say subconsciente? Subconsciously? Subconsciously, because I don't feel like that stress. I don't. Yeah, but your body does. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the thing that your body does. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just check that. Oh, man. Yes, you have a problem. This blackout has affected a lot of people. Yeah, I know. And my co-workers are reporting having problems. Really? Yeah. It's going to rain here in San Salvador too. And then I got, I got one car outside on the street. Uh, Bring it into the garage. That's gonna be. You know, I hate be, do those things under the rain. <laughs> Heidi, nice having you here. Welcome. Teacher. Let's see. Who else is around? Marcos. Hello, Marcos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, and um, everything was fine. And I have electricity for my luck, so uh, I'm just fine this day. It was a slow day, and yeah, I hope tomorrow um, will be more move. Um, yeah, let's hope um, so. Let's hope so. And what about you, teacher? Did you go to gym? No, today I couldn't. I had a meeting at the with my classmates from the university. Oh, okay. I couldn't go to my home gym <laughs> too because uh, we we're waiting for uh for um uh, realize or doing a, um, a job here in my house of uh, uh, labor, I think, or, or work, no. un trabajo, un arreglo, un modificación. So you were, you've been busy? No, 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 not really. Just, we just waiting for the, for the um, work and that we'll be doing that 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 work here in, in our house but he just uh, appear okay, any day so we're waiting and we have uh, we have disorder or reorder the things in the place we want to do that job so um, in that place I had my my little gym, so I, I couldn't do, I couldn't do any exercise this, this day for, for that. 
that's bad. Doing exercise is good. Yeah, yeah. Even this day that seems to be great. Uh, and, and we also are waiting for the, the storm that the till the television has been saying that it will appear this weekend, I think. So we we are we are we're preparing um, for that. We will see. We will see how it goes. You know, it's bad when it rains like that. Particularly in my case, I uh, I usually ride a motorcycle. So if it rains, I will have to park it and get the car. Oh, and uh, you have to use the. Uh, I don't know how to say it. La capa. Yeah, the raincoat. Oh, the raincoat. Okay, okay. Yeah, but still, you get wet. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, even with a raincoat, you get wet. And yeah, I the think road, it's dangerous when it's raining. Yeah, so yeah. For riding I a think motorcycle, it's great. It's pretty dangerous. I, I think the more the most dangerous or the situation that is more complicated to to ride is when uh, when they're riding at night and it's raining i think it's, it's oh, um, yeah. extremely yeah. risk yeah i, remember, I hear uh, a lot of stories yeah story about crashes yeah. yeah you know once i i was riding the motorcycle under the rain at night from San Jose Villanueva to San Martin. Oh, it was yeah. terrible. And it was raining all the way from there to here. Horrible. Yeah, I know yeah. it's very dangerous. But anyway, what can we do? Hey, Marcus, welcome. OK, teacher, thanks. Guys, let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Presente. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Sure. Roberto Luis. Present, sure. Thank you, Ramón. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay. So, Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. So, you got the electricity back at home? Yes, maybe eight. Okay, that's cool. I think that I return in a uh, different part so you don't have a decrease. Yes, some areas still don't. And they say it's going to rain, but I don't know when. Uh -huh. Do they have a, a problem with the nutrition? When I start my schedule, I went to a site. I need to move a Starbucks in the morning because my laptop don't have a battery 
Oh. And I can use my hotspot uh, because my laptop don't have battery. And I wait in uh, maybe 10, 10, 30. And when I don't have a signal, I decided to move. And when I stay in a Starbucks, my mother called me and told me that the electrician returned. <laughs> That's so bad. Yes, but the platform stay very busy and I can't move and I wait into my our lunch to move. <laughs> but it's difficult. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. And when I the electrician to uh, in the afternoon. I still connect and I uh, waiting finish my schedule and Ooh. I mm. <laughs> oh no but I don't have a case it's no problem I don't report <laughs> okay well nice having you here the good thing is that you could make it to the class <laughs> thank you teacher welcome you're good. Gee, gee, I was checking out then we gotta be careful because they expect rains. Uh, let me see. Ramon, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How's everything? How was your day? Oh, uh, my day was, it was uh, very calm, very quiet, I don't know. Calm? Calm, okay. And... That's good, no? Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, tomorrow, uh, it's, uh, it was it will um, a very busy day because uh, I'm go I will go to um, the road about oh, hey, customer. Sorry, our oh, customer. Oh, client. Visit, visit, I, I will visit the, the each client. Okay, well, you gotta be careful driving because if it rains, you gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah. Well, the good thing is that you had a calm day and where are you going to go visit the client? Are you going out of San Salvador? No, no, no. Uh, only in the Occidental, Santa Ana, Aguachapan, Sonsonate. Oh, really? Yes. And those are long travels. Yes. Mm, I. Um, I don't know. I have to go around fifty and a half. No, five, five and a half. Five. I, uh, five. You can five say five half. thirty. You can say five, five thirty. Five thirty a.m. Five thirty a.m. Yes. Pretty early. And you are driving. Hola, hola. You are driving. Yes, I I drive. Uh, Mm. Uh, uh, business car, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, company car. Company car, yes. Uh, that's a stressful. Well, we'll see, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Thank you, Mr. and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Danny, hello, Danny, how are you? Hello, 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's uh, everything? Uh, everything is going good. Um, uh, I just uh, arrived from the gym and <laughs> everything was a blackout, I think, or the short coat. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of areas got affected. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but we're we're here now. <laughs> um, well, the day was a little easy, a little quiet, and in a um, training day. And okay. Well. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes uh, you need I a mean, quiet day during yeah. a calm day during the week. Yeah, I ate a, a lot <laughs> and okay. I drank a lot of coffee too. And <laughs> yeah, it's, what can we do? That's the. I mean, some <laughs> days are like yeah. that. Some days are for. I mean, you take them a little slow, a little relaxed, and some other days are heavy and heavy. Yeah, yeah. But Mister, welcome. That. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Very nice, teacher. I'm, I'm good. Tired, but good. Okay, tired. A long day at work. Yes, teacher, a long day. I I work from home today, but it was a hard day. Well, at least you didn't have to travel. Yes, at least. At least I I slept. Uh, Twelve more hours. Oh, you feel the difference. It, Two hours yeah. is a it's a long time, right? Yeah. Two more hours is a profit for me. And yeah, yeah. And I am in home, but uh, I finish my work. Really, I don't finish, but I leave. <laughs> I leave it at seven, seven p.m. Yeah. So. I and I was in home, so it's a profit. Yeah. <laughs> Some days but, are like that, right? Uh, but Wednesday you feel tired. You feel the the the, the week. El el cansancio, teacher. The tiredness. The tiredness. You feel yep. the tiredness of the week. Yep. Yeah, Wednesday, you feel the tiredness of the week. Yeah, I mean, we are in the middle of the week. Yeah, you feel it. And it's funny, you know, because, uh, I mean, I know it's true, or you are tired. But it's funny because on, on Thursday, you feel like, oh, the weekend is pretty close. I mean, you feel like it's shorter. Yeah, so because you By have... Wednesday you feel it like it's a such a long day. <laughs> yeah. Wednesday because the next day it's Friday and something in I don't know, in some way that relaxes you. Yeah. Sort of in a way. You're right. The hope of the finish of the week. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. It's a lie at the end of the week. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fernando, nice having you here as usual. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Roxana, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you, miss? So far, so good, teacher. I feel tired. <laughs> Of doing but, what? You spend all day long on your bed, laying down, you know, just surfing channels, checking your phone, <laughs> stuff like that, yeah, living yeah, the life. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, um, in my work, everything is 
hard because uh, my coworker is working in some reports. So I actually am alone and I need to um, answer all the cases by answer, email. Answer. Answer all the cases. Uh, 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 hold on, listen to me. Answer. Answer. Like that, answer. You need to answer all the cases by email or call. It's complex because uh, some people don't stand. Stand. No entienden. No, don't understand. Don't understand. Yeah. So it's complex, but in general, everything is okay. After working, I went to the gym. And that I think that that's the reason that I feel tired because um, I was working around two and a half hours. The last time I did some exams and my okay, percentage de grasa, my triglycerides, I, I don't know how, how do you say that, but I'm not okay. So I need to do a lot of cardio and I need to... Uh, oh, I hate cardio. But I know, me too, but I need to. Well, the good thing is that you're making, I mean, you're taking to, you're taking the steps in order to get better. And that's, that's really yeah. important. Yeah. But in general, everything is okay. Just title. Mm -hmm. Same of uh, Fernando. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. Let's see. We got time. Yeah, we got plenty of time to Ada. Hello, Ada. What about you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's a good, good day. It's a uh, celebration. Yeah. Celebration is the social security because the 16 was the nurse day. Oh, yeah, and right. Have, yes, teacher. And Sunday is day. <laughs> Uh, they have been celebration since the, the, the last Friday. They have uh, brought them a lot of food. Desserts mm -hmm. and they, yes, and it is a shared with the doctor, auxiliary, nurses, and the mm. general, yes, the general personal administrative and of the, the social security. And so forever surgeries. Uh, have been scheduled in the afternoon at the clinic. It's a kid Wednesday. There are no the pa patients, patients, the schedule. patients, patients, the schedule, and the only administrative work checking oh. the mail, yes, checking the mail, sending the mails, and I live uh, early in my house at the um, 6 p.m. Yeah, and that's early. <laughs> it's, not, it's normally. I am uh, I, I arrive at my house is uh, 11 and 12 p.m. Yeah, depend, and depend getting the one day at 6, you feel the difference, right? <laughs> Yes, I already have a class teacher. Okay, perfect. Nice having you here and welcome. Yes, thank you, teacher. <laughs> and see you. Suleyma, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, and yes. today I I feel so tired because uh, it's Wednesday. And was a really long day. Oh, really? Yeah. It was something 
stressful. Mm. Yeah, as Fernando but, said, Wednesday feels long. Yeah, it feels long, but now I'm in my house with my two little dogs, and that's okay. Okay, well, nice. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. So far, so good, teacher. Everything good today. At my job, I guess, well, in my job was a really calm day. Well, and then, nice. yeah, and then everything good to try. So glad to hear it. Yeah, that's right. It was a perfect day. It was, wasn't in the house. <laughs> that's why it was calm. So you know yeah yeah i mean it's always good to be able to to have a calm day we were talking about that with your classmates sometimes we have heavy days and we just have to make do right yeah yeah that's right true that's right but was well oh, in my job was really calm Because we have to complete some reports and well, we have to be pending of the line of business that maybe they're not getting the target on every inter interval. So we have to, to create one report and then we have to explain those, uh, those, those reports. But really calm, very calm. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, that's really well. And that's it, the trip. Today wasn't, uh, was a uh, no typical day because we not did a lot of uh, tasks. Like, we didn't, we yeah. didn't do. That we use. We didn't do a lot, a lot of tasks, or we uh, didn't we have did, many we, tasks to do. We didn't have man. We didn't have many tasks to do. Perfect. Mm. Oh, so so glad to hear. Yeah, was a un, un typical day. A not typical. A not typical. Yeah, a not okay. typical day. Well, it was a not typical day today, but that's got everything good. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. And that was my day for the for the job. And then I I rest a lot. Well, you had that opportunity, you know, and having the chance to to rest in the middle of the week, it's cool. Yeah, that's right, teacher, that's right. But tomorrow we will have a lot of um, meetings because oh. we have, we, well, they just got you the meetings of the completing of the whole week. The whole. Uh, the whole week, so uh, I today I checked that then I saw that maybe to, tomorrow gonna be a, a hard day. Well, you but, know, you have to make do with whatever you got. Yeah, that's right. True. Everything is earned. I guess that we could say that. Yeah, you can. Okay. Mr. So welcome. Thank you, teacher, and thank you to us. 
Uh, thanks to you for making the effort. I know it wasn't that easy tonight. It's been crazy yeah. for some people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, there's one lady that she was going to Starbucks. <laughs> I I heard that. Yeah, that's the excuse, you know. She wanted to go there. <laughs> she only wants to buy uh, one cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. The rest is just an excuse, but, you know. We won't yes. take her into, into an account for her. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, Mr. Uh, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. You're a teacher to us. Okay, let's see. I still got a few seconds. So let's see. Who else could I talk to? Hmm. 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 Irene. Hello, Irene. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm excellent. Okay, excellent. I like that. And tell me, how was your day? Today was an amazing day. I was working so hard, mm, do, doing my daily activities. And then I came at, came at home a little late and then I watched TV uh, a, a little 20 minutes because I enjoy to watch the uh, news before the class. Then I do uh, my exercise routine because I enjoy to do a little routine some light uh, of, ex of exercise like aerobics or something like that sometimes like one, twice a week or three times a week I do exercise at home that's nice. And then uh, that's only. That's it all. Perfect. Yes, that's, that's it. Thank you and welcome. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, we got as many activities for tonight and we're going to start well from all of you. I know that all of you wanted to participate, but sometimes I don't have that much time. So let's see, first activity, where is it? It's right here. Okay, what are we gonna do? The pair work is exercise number six. Goes like this, Roger is a problematic employee who is about to be demoted. He bullied employees from different departments, bad mouth managers, presented important documentation late and used the office equipment for personal purposes. What would you have done differently if you had been Roger's manager? Give advice. Okay, I need you to prepare at least five recommendations, okay? At least five recommendations. You're gonna be working in small groups. Okay, I have, I have already divided you into small groups. I need you to jump in and do some Exercises. Let's see. Give me just a second. Okay. Groups are created and open. Please jump in. Five minutes. 
five sentences. I'm going to send you the screenshot. Curse, good evening. I'm sorry, I don't know why. I guess that maybe my computer was uh, frozen. Uh, it's I okay. wasn't able to unmute my mic, my microphone. But well, uh, what was the, the instruction? Uh, we have to to give five at least five five advices about the exercise number six in page. 23 of the the um, manual from the manual mm -hmm. page 20 23 23 mm -hmm. exercise number six exercise number six better work roger is a problematic employee who is about employee to be, employee to be the motive he bullied employees from the different departments by the month money or present important important documentation late and use the office equipment for personal purposes what would you do well what would you have done differently if you differently if you have been Royer's manager. Well give advice. Give At advice. Least five. We have to At least five. Yep. Yeah, we are using third conditional. Remember. Third conditional. Oh, Just third conditional, my favorite. Let me refresh my mic to turn. Third about third conditional. Uh how do you use third conditional? If he if has he have, Yes, if he has, and then he will have. Yeah, the if clause. Past participle. Past present, yeah, and after the comma, will have and past participle. Uh, if he, the, okay. he is an employee. What would you have done differently if you had been Roger's manager? Maybe. It could be if Rogers. It could be if Rogers had presented the report, their, not, are not reports, but the, the documentation in time, he would have received, um, received, and um, I don't know how to say it. Um, attend the <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Let me let me 
write this. If Roger I sent the information he would have received and re como reconocimiento price donor a price what what type of reconocimiento mm, um i don't know this kind of motivational reconocimiento como reconocimiento okay Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I know what you mean. I got, I got it. The word is acknowledgement. Or knowledge. No, 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 no. Acknowledgement. Want me to? Want me to get it in the chat? Please. There you go. <clears throat> Ac ah, okay. Ac acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Okay. Are you agree, guys, with this advice? If Roger had presented the information, he would have received an acknowledgement. Okay, I have mother. If I had heard that inconvenience, I could have been faced. And talk about and talk to him. Could you repeat again, please? I want to, to write all the advices. Okay. If you want, I can share it with you. If I share it with the, the question, the well, the sentence on the chat, uh, we all, only we can see, right? Yep. If I have Give me a heard second, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. If I had heard, if, if I, I had heard that inconvenience, I could have been faced and okay. talked to him. If I am, um, that's a pretty one. Uh, one like that advice. If I had, okay, I just got paste. <laughs> paste. If I had heard that inconvenience, I would, I would, I would have, have been faced, I will have faced and talked to him. Huh? I will have, I will have, or oh, I will. Mm -hmm. I will, yeah, we have to use the will. Let me see. Let me see. If I had, uh -huh, if oh, I yeah, 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 just you, change the cool for you. Mm -hmm. I will okay. have, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I have heard that inconvenience, I could I have, could. I could have I faced, I could, I could have, I could. I could have, it's okay, it's okay, I could, could oh, have okay. faced oh. him. Oh, him. Yeah, remember that you are changing, if you use could and would, you are just changing from possibility to probability. Okay. We, but we, still but the teacher, uh, what about if we say, I could have been face him and talk to him? No, 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 I no, guess no, 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 no. It's a lot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I could have. Hmm? I could have could faced have. him. If you say, I could have been faced, yo podría haber sido enfrentado. That's uh, what you're saying. I could have been, no, no, well, that's right. That's why you use him. But uh, my no, point no, no, is that. This, my point is this, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what, uh, what you mean. But I want to know if we have to delete the last part in the cell uh, and talk to him i could and have faced like, him 
I could have him. I could have face him and talk to. That's it. No. And talk to him. Face and him, him and talk to him. Yes. Okay. You we have to use in English. Yes. Yes. Him. Yeah. You do. Okay. And perfect, it's perfect. 60 seconds for this to end. Hello, guys. Let's see. Okay, okay. Let's see what you got for me. The situation is Roger is a problematic employee who is about to be demoted. He bullied employees from different departments, bad model managers, presented important documentation late, and used the office equipment for personal purposes. Okay, what a beauty of an employee, right? Heidi, what would you have done if you had been the manager? Well, we were talking that would make a follow up to this employee. Uh, first of all, we would uh, talk to him and, and and explain the consequences of, of his behavior. And we would uh, give him a warning and monitor if, if he gets better in his behavior and after a, a while, take a decision. Okay. So- Now a lot, you know a lot. Yeah, face the problem as soon as possible and give the opportunity to Fix it, or and it doesn't. The mode, right? Right, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Irene, what about you? What's your position in this situation? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I think that is important. Um, talk with the employee about um, process, about the process and policies of the company, maybe talk with him about the warning. Okay. Warning and, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, try to Corregir, how can I say in English? Fix, you can say fix. 
fix fix him this 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 act okay okay um, yeah you can say fix because if you make amends and uh, no, that's if it's uh, after um, yeah okay fix. thank you no problem let's see i got chance for another one oops i'm sorry guys i need to get the attendance this is quite important also ada susana caceres mendoza present teacher alejandro alfredo salas comedias Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellano. Roxana Ivet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay. Let's see, guys. Just a second. Okay. Well, let's continue, guys. Um, what's your opinion? Let's see who. Roxana, what's your opinion? With the program, what would you have done with that employee? Tell me, well, tell us. Uh, I use the conditional. Okay, perfect. That's the way. I will have prepared a report if if I were the boss. And if he works bad, the company will give him an AP. A, a, como yeah, I know, personal. I know. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Um, if he works in that way, the company will fire him. Okay, and finally, perfect. if I were the manager, he will pay for the office things. Okay, for the office equipment. Yeah, for the office equipment. Yeah, for for la la las cosas que hay ocupado. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Very well done. That's the way. Conditionals. Jose Wilfredo, yours. Okay, my are the next. If I had heard that the inconvenience, I could have been face him and talk to him. I could have faced him and talked to him, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Other is 
if he had bullied the taller man, he would he would have been punched to him. Okay. Another one is says if Royer had present the information, he would have received an acknowledgement. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Those Excellent. are Gail. That's okay. That's okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now, 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 now. Let's do some uh, different type of exercise. Let me check. Yeah, I got it ready for you. Okay, conditionals. Again, conditionals. Let's see. Oops, what happened here? Hold on. I don't know what happened to my, my presentation, but let me fix it. Give me just a second. Check it out. What happened? What happened? Okay, hello Francisco, welcome. Okie dokie guys, I don't know what's happening now, but we'll try to fix it in a few seconds. Okay, well, meanwhile, let's see. Situations, okay? We have problems, always problems with people at work, right? And if you remember yesterday, you were working with some situations that are common happens in companies. Now, Give me just a second that I have also another activity for you. And it's right here. Okay. I got a beautiful questions for you to discuss. And the question is the following one. I need you to read it and analyze it. It's going to be quite interesting. If you will have a chance, would you change something in the history risking that your parents never will meet with each other and you never will be born? An interesting question, right? You are going to discuss in groups. You are going to have five minutes to discuss that question. So let's jump in.
Okay, let's see. Ileana, what you got from me? If you would have a chance, would you change something in the history, risking that your parents never will meet it with each other and you never will be born? Tell me. In the history in general, right? Yeah, like, sure. Okay, I I was turned to, to my group, uh, Jose Wilfredo and Maria Alejandra, that maybe I change if I, I I would I will change something maybe my family history my mom history maybe if my grandpa doesn't doesn't pass too young oh yeah maybe she maybe her history will be will have been different be, yeah will in have consequence been different. will have been different in consequence maybe. Uh, she you wouldn't be here yeah <laughs> but but you know yeah maybe I got that, it. That, I got you. that idea makes me happy <laughs> okay cool thank you now let's see ramon what you got for me Okay, let's see, Roxana. Hi, well, in my case, if I could uh, change something, uh, maybe I change the warm time because my mother uh, lived in Tenancingo. And she told me that uh, the warm in that uh, town was hard. Oh, and that's war, war, war. And that's the reason why my family needed to left all the stuff and come to the city. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that happened to plenty of families. I got you. Understand you. Well, thank you. Sorry, guys, that I can take everybody's opinion, but I need to jump into the next activity. And it's the presentation that I had. I'm sorry, I fixed it already. Okay. Okay, now, conditional sentences. We, will, we have to rewrite the sentences. Use unless or if. Now, we got a new word, unless. I won't understand if he doesn't speak slowly. Okay, so in this case, I won't understand unless he speaks slowly. That would be an option. Look, or you can say, unless he speaks slowly, he won't understand. Look at next one. We'll miss the bus unless we run. Okay, in this case, we need to use if. How would it be? Who's got an opinion? Tell me, guys. If we don't run, we'll miss the bus. If we don't run, we'll miss the bus. Perfect, thank you. Next one, you'll fail your exams if you don't work harder. What you got from me, guys? You fail your exams unless you don't work hard, unless you work harder. Okay, unless you work harder, you'll fail your exams. Remember, what we are doing is substituting if for unless. So in the last one, if the weather doesn't get worse, we will play tennis. Unless the weather gets worse, we'll play tennis. What is unless a menos que? That's the idea we get with unless. Now, we're going to go out unless it stops raining. I won't be prepared for the exam if I don't study all night. If Thomas doesn't wake up early, he'll be late for work. 
If you don't go to Japan, you won't learn Japanese. Okay, guys. First one for you to go break up rooms and solve. I'm sending it to your groups, okay? I'm sending the image right now to you guys. Where you go, Francisco, you go for group number three. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. La primera we won't go out unless it is stop. If it doesn't stop raining, we won't go out. If it stops, if it stops, no, if, if, it, if it doesn't stop raining, we won't go out. Am I right, it? Uh, yeah. yeah, that could be a way. Oh, okay. So, but I have I have a doubt it, it, that I was it, checking it the previous. If if Sorry. it doesn't stop raining, we won't go out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so um, when we use unless is when we refer to a remove like the negative form, right? Don't or does, right? Yeah, because unless it's negative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. The idea the idea you give to others when you use the word unless is a negative idea. Because you are saying a menos que. That's not positive. That's negative. Okay. Got it. Now, thanks. Let's see. I want to be... I want to be prepared. I don't. Teacher, I'm confused. Okay, which one? I don't get it. Um, we just... Okay, look, the idea is this. You're going to change unless for if. Yes. And if for unless. Now, mm -hmm. when you have unless, if you notice, the sentence is affirmative after unless, right? But if you change it into is, into if, you're going to make it negative. If it doesn't stop raining, we, go, we won't go out. The situation is this, unless express a negative idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it now? Yes. So numbers. Well. I just gave you number five. Yes. So, but in the next, for example, we just change if for ah. unless. In number six. Yeah. And you will start with unless. Uh -huh. Unless, unless I study, affirmative, right? Unless I study all night, I won't be prepared for the exam. That's the way you got it? No. Look at the sentence. Unless, that word is negative. 
So the rest uh -huh. of the sentence is affirmative. And we don't, uh -huh. and we don't, we can. Unless. Negative, right? No, because we are using unless already. But uh -huh. okay. after the comma is another sentence. That one is negative. Unless I study all night. No. I yes. won't. Perfect. Won't be prepared for the exam. Yep. That's the way. Easy, right? Unless Thomas wake up early. No. Okay. Let's there. see, guys. Yes. We have a talk. Unless you go to Japan, you won't learn Japanese or you will learn Japanese? Okay. Unless you go to Japan, you won't learn Japanese. Remember, the if clause change into unless. Now, mm -hmm. unless that word is negative. The idea you express when you use mm -hmm. that word unless is negative. So the rest of the sentence must be affirmative. Okay. But then you get a comma. After the comma, you get a different sentence. That sentence is negative. Okay. 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 So if we are using unless, we have to change. If you use unless, the rest of the sentence is affirmative. If you use if, the sentence is negative. The, at least they close, the if close. Okay. And the other close is always negative in this case. Well, in the cases that it asks for it. Okay. So it is, unless you go to Japan, you won't learn Japanese. Exactly. How about the other one? Unless Thomas wakes up early, he'll be late for work. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Unless I study all night, I won't be prepared for the exam. Right? Mm, change the order. Unless I study all night, I won't be prepared for it. You can also say I won't be prepared for the exam okay. unless okay. I study. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's another possibility. I mean, you can you can move the, the position of the clauses. That's that's a given in this case. Sixty seconds. Don't worry. We will have the chance to make more and more. We got a lot of these ones. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. We want to. We're just going to wait for everybody to be back in a few seconds. So, Heidi, you weren't affected by the blackout. Oh, no, it wasn't. It hasn't started raining yet. And neither here. Some people said that it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. A couple of days, they say. It's going to be raining later, but not yet. Okay, it isn't raining here either. Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see. My bad. I didn't uh, quite explain something to you all right at the beginning. The word unless is negative. Okay, it expresses a negative situation. So after the word unless, you must have an affirmative verb. Otherwise, it will be double negation. Got it? 
In this case, we are talking about a conditional sentence. But if you remember, a conditional sentence is made out of two clauses. The conditional clause and the result clause. Okay, so if you divide it by a comma, you got a new sentence after that. So the first part, the unless clause, in this case, unless express the condition. So the condition, if you got unless, is negative, is right. affirmative. But if you got if, it's negative, because we are expressing negative ideas. Let me show it to you so it's easier for you to understand. Okay, like in this case, we won't go out unless it stops raining. Look, the close starts right about here, unless it stops raining. So this needs to be if, right at the beginning. Okay, if it doesn't stop raining. Why doesn't? Because unless express a negative, but if it's affirmative, so you need to use the auxiliary for the negative sentence. Look, if it doesn't stop raining, we won't go out. Here, this is the result close. This is a complete new sentence, a complete different sentence. So this one, it's okay, it's negative. Look at number six. I won't be prepared for the exam if I don't study all night. What you got for me, Heidi? In number six? Yeah, please. I won't be prepared for the exam unless I study all night. That's one option. Or you can say, unless I study all night, I won't be prepared for the exam. Remember, it's okay the way she said it, yes, because it's conditional. So you can express the condition at the beginning or you can express it at the end. Doesn't matter. Number seven, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> Unless Thomas wake up early, he won't be late for work. Okay, listen. The first part is okay, but you need to understand also the idea. Unless Thomas wakes up early, he'll be late for work. So this is okay, it doesn't change. You are just changing the one that is the condition, not the result. The result is the same, okay? Okay. Because the idea here is this. Thomas needs to wake up early. Mm -hmm. you. Why? Because if he doesn't, he will be late for work, okay? Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, what you got for number eight? Okay. Let, let me one moment, teacher, because I I closed my my ship now. So number eight, right? Yep. Says if you don't go to Japan, you won't have to learn that. Says unless 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 you go to Japan, you uh -huh. will learn Japanese. Unless you go to Japan, you won't you learn, learn Japanese. Learn. Remember, you are just changing the condition. Okay. But don't worry, guys. We got more exercises. We got if you don't drive carefully, I won't lend you my car. We'll be late if we don't hurry. You must study more or you won't pass the exam. The dog will attack you only if you move. Okay, guys, now let's go back. Just four sentences. That's two minutes for you working in the breakout rooms. I'm sending you the screenshot right about now.
Hey, Francisco, they have left you alone. No, there's Roxana here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm gone, don't worry, I'm gone. <laughs> you know, okay, she just kicked okay. me out. <laughs> study more. You must study more. Or you won't pass the exam. You must study more. You must study unless more. you study more. Unless you study more. Okay. You won't pass the exam. Or won't pass the exam. Unless you study more. Or you won't pass the exam. Unless you study more, comma, you won't pass the exam. Okay. Um, the next one. Um, the dog will attack you only. Unless you move. Unless you move. Unless you move, the dog will. No. <laughs> Unless, Unless only... you move, the dog won't attack you. Oh. Okay, without the only. Unless you mm -hmm. move, the dog will attack you. Yes. What a beautiful exercise, right, guys? Okay, look, which one am I going to help you? 11, number 11. Unless you study more, you won't pass the exam. Remember, I want you to check the idea, like in number 12. Unless you move, the dog won't attack you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number nine, unless you drive carefully, I won't lend you my car. Perfect. And number 10, unless we hurry, we'll be late. That's quite perfect. Let's go back. Okay, everybody's back. Okay, let's go back to this headache I have given to you guys. Let's see, Marcos, number nine, what you got? Okay, um, unless you drive carefully, I won't lend you my car. That's perfect. Unless you drive carefully, I won't lend you my car. Very well done. Now let's see. Irene, what you got for number 10? I think um, unless you must study more, you won't pass the exam. Okay, that's number 11, my dear, but it's okay. 
Okay. Number ten. <laughs> number ten. Let's see, Mr. Rivas, what you got in number ten? Um. Unless uh, we not let it will be late. Unless we hurry. Okay, we'll be late unless we hurry. Oh, quite perfect. Thank you. And yes, Irene, unless you study more, you won't pass the exam. Right? The last one, the dog will attack you only if you move. Remember, you need to focus not just in the structure, also in the idea. It helps. Look, unless you move, uh -huh. the dog won't attack you. So in this case, the unless took the position of, of only if, right? Yes. Next one. Okay, rewrite each sentence, sentence beginning as shown so that the meaning stays the same. Look, I didn't have an umbrella with me and so I got wet. I wouldn't have got wet if I had had an umbrella. Okay. Next one. I'll call the police if you don't leave me alone. Let us see. In the snowy weather, we don't go to school. Letter D. Without Jack's help, I wouldn't have been able to move the table. Okay, now guys, I'll give you one minute for you to work right here. Take your time, analyze, read, and in one minute sharp, I will recall you to, for you to help me out, solve it. Chair. Yes. In this this answer in number A, it is said, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have gotten wet. You can say have got or have gotten. Okay. Got can be the simple past and also the past participle. Gotten. Really? Yep. I thought it was yeah. get got gotten. Yeah. Actually it is. But it's also get got got. Okay. And then you start asking me why? Why two things? It's just a matter of the country. Okay? In the in the United States, you use Garden of okay. God, uh, but in countries speaking English speaking countries outside the United States, besides the United States, use got. There's also something else that you need to remember, uh, Heidi. Uh -huh. Okay, when you use got, you refer to the to the state 
of possessing something. And you like uh, 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 mm, but you use garden when referring to the process of getting something. Got when you have it. Got it when it's something coming. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, time's up. Tell me. Look, let it be. I'll call the police if you don't leave me alone. Maria Alejandra, what you got there? I don't know. Either. Uh... Okay, look, Maria Alejandra. I'll call the police if you don't leave me alone. Let's see, Liana, yes? Sorry, teacher. I just want to know if I write in the correct way. I put, I wouldn't have called the police if you had left me alone. Remember that we are working with unless. Unless, okay. Unless you leave uh, me alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call the police. Right. Yes. And could be oh, okay. unless you had left me alone, I won't call the police. I wouldn't have called the police. Call I the wouldn't police. have. Yes. Okay. Unless you had left me alone, I wouldn't have called the police. It can but be. I it can be teacher, I'll call the police unless you don't leave me alone. Okay, look. Yes, you can change the order, but I'll call the police unless you leave me alone. Unless okay. you leave. You cannot say unless you don't because that will be a double negation because unless is negative, okay? Okay. Let's check next one. In the snowy weather, we don't go to school. If it snows, we don't go to school, right? But I am sure you got some other ideas. Please tell me some of the ones you got for letter C. Unless, unless the snow weather? We don't go to school. Unless it snows, we don't go to school. Yeah, it can be. What you got, uh, Jose Wilfredo? If it is snow, we couldn't go to school. If it we snows, we couldn't go to school, yeah. Acceptable. Another one, guys, for that one? Mm, teacher, I don't know. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> um, we wouldn't gone to the school if the weather had been snowy. We wouldn't have gone. We wouldn't. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot the have. We wouldn't have gone to the school if the weather have been snowy. Okay. Now, without Jack's help, I wouldn't have been able to move the table. Look, if Jack hadn't helped me, I wouldn't have been able to move the table. Remember, we are saying the same meaning. Okay, the meaning has to stay the same. Next one, you drink too much coffee. That's why you can't sleep. 
You press this button to stop the machine. Make me some coffee and I'll give you one of my biscuits. Okay, guys, again, one minute. Work on your own, please. Okay, time's up. Let's see. You drink too much coffee. That's why you can sleep. The option that I have is this one. If you drank less coffee, you could sleep. What you got? Give me options. You want to sleep if you drink too much coffee? Yeah, that's perfect. Another one, guys. Uh, I had, if you don't drink too much coffee, you could sleep. Perfect. You got another one, perhaps one using on less. I have Teacher, I have, uh, sorry. Danny, go. Yes, Danny. If you drink too much coffee, uh, you won't be able to sleep. I don't know. Perfect. Yes, Eliana. Unless you stop drinking too much coffee, you could sleep. Unless you stop drinking too much coffee, you won't be able to sleep. Uh, you won't. Ah, okay. <laughs> Or simply, you won't sleep. You okay, won't. now, next one. You press this button to stop the machine. My option is this. If you press this button, the machine will stop. What you got, guys? Come on, give me all your opinions, please. Unless you press this button, the machine continue work. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's same here. idea. Unless you press this button, the machine won't stop. Perfect. Another one, please. Unless you stop the machine or touch the button. Okay, let's go to the next one. Make me some coffee and I'll give you one of my biscuits. My option is this. If you make me some coffee, I'll give you one of my biscuits. What you got for me here? Tell me your, your sentences, please. Unless you make me some coffee, I won't give you one of my biscuits. Okay. Now, Rewrite these sentences using the second or third condition. Okay, let's see. To do the to the time factor, 
this one is goes for you as a homework. Let me post it for you in the WhatsApp group so you can have it there. Okay, and the next one you're going to have Okay, now I will leave you just this one and the rest ones we're going to solve them here in class but at least this one I need you to to solve it at home, okay? Remember, so this one is homework So before I move on, guys, please, uh, is it okay this type of exercise? Is it working for you? I think it's working for me, teacher. Okay, perfect. If it is, yes, excellent. If it is, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna delay you just one little second. Okay, let me just Okay, I have shared this info with some of you, but I'll also need you to do this little exercise. It's going to help you. Okay. I mean, that the last exercise I sent you, uh, the link is not necessary. It's not mandatory, but it will help you. The one before, the screenshot, yes, please do it for tomorrow. It, we are going to use it here in the class. Okay, guys, the time has come for me to get the attendance, believe it or not. Man, we've been busy today. Just let me get the right screen. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Salas Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Presente. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Francisco, stay for a second, please. Hey guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank, thank you for your time. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, everyone.
teacher. Hello, tell me. I need help in homework 2.8. The second part. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said 2.8. 2.8. Second part. Okay, give me just a second. Francisco, my apologies. Uh, I didn't have enough time. And I thought you were working. <laughs> Teacher, uh, today, uh, sorry, uh, tomorrow I am going in the same shift for, for me. Yes, uh, if possible, uh, I show the Friday teacher. Okay, Friday is okay for you. Just remind me as soon as you connect, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Hold on, Francisco. From Wednesday to Friday, right? Right, teacher. Perfect. I took note of it. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you and my apologies. No, teacher, no problem. Okay. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Okay, let's see. You told me two point what? Two point eight, second part, their conditional. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hold on, it's just that it's loading. Okay, okay. Two point five, two point eight, second part of oh, second part. Complete the third conditional sentences, type the complete sentence again. Yes. Right? Uh, yes, teacher. And in the first, for example, the first, the first sentence, I have this. If she has checked the stock market report, comma, she wouldn't have lost so much money. I try with with period and without period, and that's not the file. No, the thing is that it's asking for you to do the contraction, wouldn't. Or, oh, uh, okay, <laughs> the contractions. Yes. Okay, I I only have put uh, number four. But in the in the second picture, the contraction too. I had this. Let's see. If Tim had not attended the meeting, he would have missed the chance to get a promotion. Okay. If Tim had not attended the meeting, comma, he contraction. He will contract her. Will have. Okay. There and the other option is this one. Look, there's two options. This is the first one. Having the one that is having. Okay. Or the ones that is closer to yours is this one. Okay. Okay. And there is no option with without contraction. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let me see number three. Number three, yeah. Okay. I, I heard. If the agent had listened more attentively, comma, he would have understood the customer's request. The customer request. Okay. Oh, I had one S. At, <laughs> at the end, so. Okay. Number four and is the easiest. Yeah, number four, I, I had uh, good. I had correct. Number five, you have not. No, number five, uh, I have this, but maybe contraction. Okay, if the company has not invested in a new building, come on, we we will have 
how to share cubicles. Exactly that is the contraction. Okay. The, con the contraction was the problem. Okay, I have Korea. <laughs> so you got the idea was just the contraction? Uh, no. No, I mean, you had the correct idea. The only thing yeah, you okay. were missing was the, the contraction. Okay, but why there is, is there not a, an option without contraction? Because usually when you are working, when you are speaking this way, you contract in the condition or in the result. You don't usually work in full sentences. Okay. That's and the actually that's the more natural thing for them to okay. use the contractions. But one contraction. I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, well, some people use both. Okay. If if you speak like with full form, some people are gonna start looking weird at you because they don't. Okay, is is more correct? No, <laughs> that's something correct. different. Correct is no contraction. Correct. Use is contractions. Okay. No, if you if you don't use contraction, I I, I mean. Is formally, uh, yeah, too much formal. Quite formal. Yeah, quite formal. Quite formal. Americans okay. are pretty informal when speaking. Okay, it's like I don't know in Spanish when people use words, fine words, or refine. I don't know if refine the correct word. Refinado, teacher. Refine. Yeah, to find. Okay. In Spanish, when people use refined words, is is way. Yeah. Okay. Mister, thank you very much for being here. Welcome. I know it's hard for you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to attend some some things in house, you know. Don't no worry, don't no worry. That happens. Okay. Thank you, teachers. Thanks to you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.